Okay, go back, go back, go back. What's all this about? Sorry to interrupt the drama, but it's 2017. Why is this stick shift business still a thing? Sounds like it's time for another discussion and bizarre analogy. For years, the manual transmission was the law of the land. There was nothing else to really drive. People were working on automatic transmissions as early as the 1920s, but they didn't become common until decades and decades later. But they're common now. Just look at the statistics here in the US. According to Edmunds, as of 2013, approximately 3.9% of new cars in the US were manual, meaning that automatics made up a whopping 96% of the market. So it makes sense, right? Old automatic slush boxes were slow and painful, and usually had fewer gears than their manual counterparts, so it made sense why enthusiasts preferred the superior 5 and 6 speeds. But modern automatic transmissions like those from ZF and dual clutches like Porsche's PDK are sublime, often shifting much faster than a human can, providing better fuel economy and with minimal drivetrain loss. So what's the deal? Why are we still doing this manual thing? Stick shift isn't the most advanced or efficient way to change gears, but it makes people feel more connected. It's fun. Devon's car, the Focus ST for example, is only sold in a manual transmission. Your opinions on Ford may vary, but you can't deny that they know their audience. Many car enthusiasts, like Devon, feel that the manual transmission is more fun, more rewarding, even if they're slower and less efficient than an automatic transmission. And those are the people that buy cars like the Focus ST. With the manual, you're more involved. With the automatic, you might as well be the passenger. Manuals have proven to be very important to the car community. Car and Driver literally has a Save the Manuals campaign. Clearly, this is something that the automotive community is extremely passionate about. In the face of quicker, more precise technology, enthusiasts still seem to prefer the old ways. Automatics and dual clutches might give you a faster lap time, but that's not what it's always about. Remember earlier how I said there was going to be a bizarre analogy? This is that. Let me get this straight. So we drive stick shift instead of automatics, even though they are slower, less efficient, and almost no one knows how to drive them anymore? It's like cooking. Anybody can take a TV dinner and put it into a microwave for four minutes and have a meal. It's basically the same every time and they taste fine. They're pretty cheap and they're easy to make. It's consistent. In theory, it seems better than cooking. It's way more efficient. You don't have to buy all the individual ingredients and look up a recipe and worry about temperatures and flavor and all that. And it's probably cheaper than cooking too, and it's much, much faster. But when you cook, it's more rewarding. You get to combine the ingredients and you get to create the flavor. It's more involving, it's more expensive, sure. It's not really the logical choice, but we still do it because it's satisfying. When you sit down to eat, you know that you were the one who created that dish. It's just like if you catch a good heel toe in a manual transmission car and you're able to seamlessly downshift. It feels awesome, it's super rewarding. And while you're never gonna mess it up in an automatic transmission car, you're not really doing anything. You can't mess it up, so you never feel that reward. Driving isn't all about the numbers. Life isn't all about efficiency. Sometimes you gotta do what feels right. Just like eating fills you up, any car that takes you from point A to point B fulfills a need. But something as simple as a stick shift might be that special sauce you need to make something great. So you just watched a really weird comparison between cooking and stick shift. It may not have made a lot of sense, and I apologize. Stick shift is very important to the car community, and it's an extra layer of connection and enjoyment that you might not understand if you've never driven it before. I'm not the kind of car guy that's resistant to change, but I do hope that as the automotive world continues to progress and to evolve, that there'll always be a stick shift for me to drive. With that being said, Happy New Year. Ha ha ha!